Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the mask overlay modes in Photo Raw. Quick thanks to everyone supporting me on Patreon. It's your pledges that make videos like this possible. So in Photo Raw, we have three different ways of viewing masks in the view mode. In Photo Raw 2020, we got a new one. We got red overlay. New one is red overlay while brushing and grayscale. So first off, let's take a step back. What is a mask overlay? It's a way to see where you have masked an effect or where you've masked a layer. And quick example here. Let's take this local adjustment. We've set it for detail. And I start painting in you know, a mask. I kind of see where I'm painting. I kind of don't see where I'm painting. I can see the detail starting to pop there. And as I let go of the brush, we'll see it snap into focus there. And okay, I've kind of painted the tip of that rock, but I'm not really sure where I've painted. Well, first I can turn on the mask view. I'll click view and I have the red overlay selected. So I can see, oh, this is where I've painted. This is where I've not. So if I wanted to get to the edges there, notice I have my perfect brush turned on for edge detection. I can nudge in and around those edges kind of easily. And same thing up on the top and so forth. Now I'll turn that view off. If you want to have that type of overlay shown to you while you're brushing, that's where view mode red overlay while brushing comes in. Now here's the thing with this new mode. I've turned on the mode, but I'm not currently viewing the overlay. Remember this view button over here? Where I turned it on before and then turned it off and nothing's happening right now because my overlay is selected as show it to me while I'm brushing. So first thing, clicking on that, I start brushing and that overlay shows up. I see what's going on. I can see where I'm brushing and where I'm not. And as soon as I stop brushing, it disappears. So if you're doing hand painted masks, that's a good mode to use to get some immediate feedback on where you are in the object or element that you're masking and then have it disappear so you can see what it looks like on your, on your image there. So you can get a very good quick idea about what looks good and what looks bad. Now what about that last mode, grayscale? Let's move over to that one. Mask, view mode, grayscale. And grayscale is nice because it will highlight a few things that may not otherwise be easy to see, like these nuances in here. With this image, if I switch back to just the red overlay, we can kind of see that. Like in this area here, I can see speckles of red but there are even very subtle speckles of red in there that are difficult to see. But when I go into grayscale, it's much more obvious, like these spots out over in here, those are much more difficult to see than with the red overlay. And let me turn off my edge detection since I don't need that for the center of this object. So grayscale can help you find areas that you might thought were masked, but aren't. And if you have an image where there's a reds or orange type tones, well then a red overlay makes it even more difficult to see. So each one of these overlay modes has their use. The new one in 2020 is red while brushing. That's really good for working on an object and getting that immediate feedback. And the other two I've just shown you, hopefully that helps you get those all square in your mind. Just remember you do have to have the overlay turned on, the view button. Make sure you're clicking on that, hitting it. You'll have a good idea as well down here in the very bottom. Notice this little orange dot. I turn off the view, the dot's off. I turn on the view, the dot's on. And you can tell if you're looking at the overlay or not. So if you've got red while brushing turned on, you don't see any, uh, any action happening on the screen, make sure you've got the overlay view turned on. That's going to do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know somehow. Comments on the video below. Got questions about photography? Drop them in the comments or hit me up through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.